everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do three DIYs for your room. For room decor, I did find these on Pinterest and I think they look really, really cute. So if you'd like to see how to make them, please keep watching. For this DIY, you're going to need a mason jar, paint, brushes, markers, and a plant topper. Starting off, you're going to paint the mason jar with the first coat of paint. Let it dry for a few minutes and then apply a second coat. Once your jar is completely dry, just take a black marker and create the stems of the pineapple on the side. I'm not sure what they're called. Pointy things, stems, whatever. And then just repeat the same process with the gold marker. Next, I'm just taking paper just to fill in the mason jar. This step isn't necessary, but I just did it to, just to do it. And then you're just going to place your plant topper on top and then your pineapple is done. For this DIY, you will need a square cork board, paint, brushes, and an X-Acto knife. First, I trace um, a stencil, I guess, of a half of a watermelon. I'm not sure, just like a slice, just, you get the picture. And then I'm just going to paint the outer um, edges green, just to look like the outside of the watermelon. And just go all the way around until you fully cover it. Once I'm done with the green paint, I'm just going to mix white and green together just to get like a lighter green and just go inside with that just to kind of blend it out because that's how a watermelon looks. Just dark green to light green to white and that's just all I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to take some white paint just to kind of give it um, an ombre effect from green to white like I said. And then once you're done with that, just go ahead and paint the inside of it pink. You can do red, pink, whatever. Just to make it look like a watermelon. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some black paint on a thin brush and just make the watermelon seeds. Once you're done painting, just let it dry before hanging it up on your wall. And you can take movie tickets, pictures, any memories that you have of the summer and just post it on this and hang it up in your room. It'll look really cute. To the top, I'm tumbling. My roller coaster's rumbling. Can you please explain why I'm acting out my brain? Oh, I've never been like this before. Oh, I For the third DIY, which happens to be my favorite, you're going to need flowers, a cardboard initial, paint, brushes, and an X-Acto knife. Taking the X-Acto knife, I'm just going to rip off the top layer of the cardboard initial just to open it up, just so I have room for the flowers. Next, I'm going to paint the outside of the initial um, a light pink just so it doesn't show any brown because the colors I'm using are pink and white and purple and I don't want any brown to show so it doesn't look ugly. Next, I'm going to take my glue gun and start placing the flowers inside of the initial. At first, I kind of scattered them around the initial and then I just went from the bottom up because it was easier for me. But you can do it however you like. I mean, there's no perfect process for this as long as you just kind of place the flowers everywhere inside and make it look really cute. As you can see, I'm just now doing finishing touches up to this initial. And once you're done, you can place it anywhere in your room or in your bathroom, on your vanity, on your dresser, wherever you like, and it'll look really cute wherever you put it. Okay. 